Welcome to 2017 Avon family and I'm back. I just finished up an awesome two and a half week vacation. Well, not really vacation. I was back home with my family in Kansas. Um, so I guess if you consider working on the farm and picking your chores up from when you were in high school counts as a vacation, then that was it. Um, Burke cold in Kansas. Um, so I'm glad I'm back even though it's raining here in South Carolina. So that's been awesome. Um, but I thought, you know, it was 2017, I thought, you know, we need to do something cool, something awesome. Um, and this is my favorite time of year, um, along with Christmas, obviously. But this is probably my next time of year because 2017 really can be anything that you want it to be. And it's a great, fresh start. You even get a fresh start with your Avon business because we started back over in campaign one. So you really can do anything you want to with your business and make your mind up to say, this is my year. But then, you know, what does that mean? This is my year. Well, it really can mean anything. But the best part is, is you need to figure out what that means before you can achieve it. That's a cool thing about it. Um, fresh start, new year, you can determine what you want to achieve, but we got to figure out what that determined thing is. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is the first thing I want to do. And this was one of my goals. You know, I've got to get these, I got to get my team set up. What do they want to achieve in 2017? And I thought I, that's got to be the first thing on my to-do list um, this year. And today is the first day back. And I thought what a great way to end my day with a video to you guys. So um, here is what we're going to kick off because it's all about 2017 and it's all about you making your dreams come tr true this year and your goals. But we got to figure out what that means. Um, what is a goal? I mean, how do you achieve a goal? How, how do you know what your goal is? How do you know what you need to do to achieve it? Um, how many of us even have a goal? Maybe we thought about it one time, but then it just kind of out of sight, out of mind, or you get overwhelmed one day and you're like, that, I, I just can't do that. that. That just can't happen. And you throw it by the wayside. Well, that's what we don't want you to do. Okay, and that's why goal setting is so important, especially for us business um, owners, because we want to make sure that we're doing what we can and we're hitting little milestones along the way to achieve a big goal. Um, and I'm going to share just a little something with you because I'm, I don't ever want to preach something that I don't practice. Um, that's probably a big thing with me. But this is this is my I don't have a very big to do list 2016 getting married was pretty big on that one. Um, I also have a savings goal on mine and then for Joe and I to get a new house. Well, we haven't gotten the new house. The motion has started. So I'm gonna take that as a success. But what I wanted to share with you this picture frame actually sits on my desk. Um, all, ooh, all throughout the year and I've got stuff from 2015. 2014, 2013, 2011, 2012. Um, a lot of these things are crossed off. Some of them I have not, did not take the time to cross them off or I crossed them off and made a new one, a new goal. So um, that's kind of the thing. So I definitely um, love goals and I wanna make sure that you know that I'm I'm honing in on this with you. This is something that I love. This is something that I do. Um, and I want to get you a part of it if you're not quite doing it yet, okay? Um, so it's just something I have written down and I've got just a picture frame. I don't even know where I picked it up at. Um, but it sits on my desk. So that way I can see it every single day. I've got a new piece of paper out for 2017. Um, and I haven't written down my goals yet because I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to accomplish this year and what I want to do. Notice I said I. So you need to get a piece of paper out. You need to decide what you need to do and you want to decide what you want, okay? It can be for your family, but decide what you want, not Avon related. What are you going to get from this year, okay? Maybe you decide I need to save an extra $200 a month. Maybe I need to, you know, take a look at my personal finances and see where I can, you know, pay off a bill and have more funds available. Susie Orman always told us when we're debt free, we have more money. She's absolutely correct because we don't owe anybody anything. Um, maybe you want to take a look and say, you know what, maybe my daughter is turning five. Maybe she wants to start dance. You know, take a look at your scenario and see what do I want to accomplish in 2017? You know, and if, if this hasn't hit you yet, also think about you know, when you get your W-2s or your 1099s and you see this big lump of money that you earned all year, um, or maybe you earn like all this crazy money and you're like, holy cow, what did I do with that? Or maybe you looked and you said, oh, I could do better, okay? Um, 
a great reflection and obviously I have 2011 written down because this is when I started this I took a look at my w2 this is my personal story and I said what did I do with all that money I don't know and I was a branch manager for enterprise rent a car at the time um, and I was like I haven't done anything with it I what have I accomplished I haven't done anything and that's when I started looking at my finances and I that's when I bought my house and I said it's project time um, so you know I wanted to do something with it have something some pride something to show for it so that's why I started um, doing this little project every single year um, so I hope you join my bandwagon um, it doesn't have to be a picture frame you can have a bulletin board you can use construction paper um, you can use your kids leftover art project from last week whatever it is have it written down and have it make it look important okay and, and feel free to share with it but this is the first thing that we're gonna do um, tonight and I'm not gonna have a very long video with you guys but I looked up the definition um, of goal setting okay and this is there's two parts to it it says this first consider what you want to achieve and then commit to it Oh, that's the first part of goal setting. Set SMART goals, which SMART is abbreviation for specific, measurable, obtainable, relevant, and time bound, okay? So with this exercise, you might wanna do something longer than a year, but I like to get it done in a year, okay? Whatever I wanna do. Maybe it's something like the house where it's, it might take a couple years, but it's still on my list. Um, it needs to be measurable, it needs to be relevant, okay? And it needs to be obtainable. Okay, I'm probably not, we're probably, I'm probably not going to be a millionaire this year, but you know what? Maybe that's a long-term goal. Um, so take a look at that. And then it also says goals that motivate you and you write them down to make them feel tangible. Then plan steps you must take to realize your goal and cross each one off, off as you work through them. Wow, that's cool. Who's a list person? Aren't lists just a whole bunch of goals put down what you want to achieve? This is kind of the same thing. So um, that's the first thing when it comes to goals. Some very good, good stuff to know. Okay, and then I also found this um, other little thing. I found a few little doodahs so I like to share with you. So it says, many people feel as they drift in the world. They work hard, but they don't seem to get anywhere or they don't make it worthwhile. Have we all been there? Right? Absolutely. What did, I, what did I do with this year's income? I'm not really sure. Um, but, you know, that, that's a really great kind of thing and seeing, okay, what am I, take a, reflect a little bit, take a look at it. So, and then it says, why set goals? Goals motivate you. They give you a term, a vision, whether it's long-term or short-term, and they keep you motivated. They keep your knowledge of what you actually want to achieve. They also raise your self-confidence. If you're achieving things and you're getting things done that you want to do or for your family that you want to do, guess what? You're going to feel pretty good about yourself. You're going to sit up a little taller, aren't you? Absolutely. So it's very, it's a confidence builder too. So you want to start setting some personal goals, okay? Create a big picture for yourself. Okay, I've got a big picture. Break it down into little pictures of different things that you want to actually achieve. You know, I had a lot of conversations with people about making President's Club at the end of the year last year. And they're like, Lay, next year's my goal. Next next year, I'm going to do it. Next year, great. We're going to make President's Club. That's a year goal. But how are we going to do it? Okay, we got to break it down by each campaign. We got to break it down by each customer. We got to break it down by each book. Do we have enough? You know, there's a lot of different little things that go into it. But guess what? If you buy enough books, you get enough customers, you follow up with those customers, you get enough sales, you're going to earn that commission, which is going to give you the things for your little to-do list, and then you're going to achieve President's Club. So it, there's a lot of different things that go into So you want to make sure you kind of get that in, get that in sync. So, so making sure that you just kind of take a look at yourself and reflect um, a little bit. And I know this can be kind of personal. Um, I know several of you just popped off what you wanted because that's how you are. Um, but some of them maybe you haven't thought about in the longest time what you want. When was the last time you thought about that? What you want. Okay. We work our Avon businesses, everyone for many different reasons. Everyone has a different cause. But are you getting what you want? So let's take a look in 2017 and you can make the change to get what you want this year, but it is up to you. It's not up to me. It's up to you. I can help you with the path. I can show you what you need to do, but in the end of the day, just like anything else, it is up to you. It's your dreams and your passions that are going to matter. So 
I hope you have your old piece of paper out. It's very simple. Um, write down a few things you want. I, I mean, I max myself out at five, okay? So, I mean, depending on how big they are, I can, I can get lofty. You might have a bunch of little things that you want to do. Um, but kind of take a look and reflect on yourself just a little bit, okay? I'm going to encourage you to write it down. Maybe you have a picture of something you want to hang it up on some construction paper. Or you want to use one of your kids' bulletin boards that they don't use anymore um, and put some pictures together with dreams and kind of make a little collage thing. Um, maybe that's something that you want to do. Um, but I encourage you to write what your goals down and take a look at it. The next step um, that I'm going to walk you through is how do you know, how do you get it? How do you get it? How do you know what you need to do to get it? Okay, well, if I'm going to take a trip to Disney, I probably need to know how much that's going to cost, huh? Yeah, that's important. If I need, you know, a new car, what do I need to have for my down payment? You got to do the research. You got to figure it out. We can't just hope that we're going to have enough. We need to make sure we are going to have enough, okay? So Avon kind of fits in here with helping you achieve those things that you want to. It's going to give you those extra finances if you want it. And if, it, if you want to put the work into it, it will, okay? So you're not going to achieve your dreams and goals unless you have a way to get it. And Avon can be your way. So it's not about Avon. It's about you and getting the things that you want in life. That is why our company is here. And that's why I'm also here to help you too. Okay. So I'm going to encourage you to write your stuff down. Okay. And then break it down a little bit. Is this something I can achieve in a year? Is this something I need to break it down just a little bit smaller? Do I need to, you know, bring home X amount every campaign? Maybe it's $200 a campaign, okay? How much in sales do you need to have to achieve that $200 each month, okay? How many customers do you need to have, okay? So a lot of different things that go into it, but I'm hoping that this little video um, will encourage you to write down what your goals and your dreams are. And if you need my help to figure out the math part of what you need to do, pick up the phone and call me, okay? I love this part. I love seeing you guys achieve the different things that you want to in your life, and I love seeing you enjoy them too. That's probably my favorite part about this um, job is because I like to see people achieve their dreams and goals. So it is about you. Avon's hopefully the way to get there. I would love to show you more. We've definitely got some great opportunities um, out there with building a team. There's bonus money out there available. Um, there's President's Club where you can get 40% of all of your sales um, and commissions. So there's a lot of great stuff that we have for earnings there for you. And we have new products coming out every two weeks, which is amazing. So thank you, Avon, for that. Um, so I hope this video helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone in 2017 at our upcoming January meetings. I will send out more information tomorrow on that. Um, but Happy New Year. Let's make it great. Let's make it more profitable than it's ever been for you. So right now, I'm going to say goodbye because I've got some goals to figure out. Um, hopefully, you do too as well. So I will see you guys soon. Happy New Year.